All right. Hello, guys. Welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're here for the first time, and today we are taking a look at my Ursa Mini Pro 12K Reef. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, so very quickly, I'm going to run through, uh, starting from the obvious, the camera, uh, the Ursa 12K. Um, it's a wonderful camera in my opinion. Every Blackmagic camera is a wonderful camera. The fact that you actually don't need a, you need a monitor, you sh usually would need a monitor, but you don't have to get an expensive monitor. Um, one way to go was the Free World um, Ultra Bright with any Blackmagic camera and you're all right. You got raw internally, so you don't have to have um, an external expensive um, uh, Ninja 5 or Shogun or something like that. The camera is it's a dream come true for me. Um, next is the lens so that I get it out of the way. Of course it's the DZO film zoom 20 to 55 2.8. Um, I've not really done a review. I think I'm still going to do, make a review. This lens is, um, is great in my opinion. Um, I'm still looking forward to getting the other set. Uh, eventually, I think that will be closer to me shooting my movie. I'm going to get the other set, but for now, this is plenty for me. Uh, media. Uh, on this thing, I'm so, so um, happy that media is not a problem for me. I can actually record <laughs> to SSDs. The SSD is not, I can take 12K, I think uh, 18 to 1 compression. That's fantastic. I have two options that I know that I've, you know, I've been using that I can vouch for. Uh, I'll put them in the link below in the description so you can check out if you want to rock a SD card. Black Magic Road is killing it right now. Alright, so um, alternative to that is the um, CFAST card. I don't have plenty of those. I have, uh, I think, about two of those CFAST cards. Uh, I don't usually use them much. I have a CFAST adapter that I that makes me adapt SATA SSDs with the option of having two two SSDs. Uh, I'll write the company on the screen. Uh, uh, an adapter for two SSDs that can take up to two gig. I think two to four four gigabytes, something like that each. So you could um, hot swap the um, tapes without moving them. Um, that's also a solution, but that, that pack is really large. It's as uh, large as this uh, box, uh, the V-mount and the battery together. But that's an option for me when I'm actually going to be shooting. Uh, and I'll explain to you down the line uh, in a minute uh, why, I, why I go. I'm really using more than anything else. I use SSDs, uh, SATA SSDs on this uh, camera as my media stuff. So, um, talking about media, let's go over here. Let me show you my media. Right now, I'm using, um, so I found this this cable uh, because USB-C is so fantastic these days. The speed of the USB-C can make it actually right straight up to the SSD without any adapter. Just imagine how simple this is and it's reliable. I'm using the USB-C port and connecting straight because this is a very powerful fast cable. It can write straight up to the SSD that I used to um, mount on my uh, Ninja 5 when I had it. I can use this card now. I don't have to throw it away. Samsung T5, we converted it to this mini launch box. Uh, M SATA and imagine that there's been no use for it until now so now I can actually replace this one here mount it this way so it can be tight enough and this pin is the same thing it goes in here and I'm fine so all my SSDs are intact now let me explain to you um, why I'm going in the SSD um, SATA SSD route it may not apply to you but just in case you're thinking of something this is a solution now on set during documentary or actual filmmaking i got this because uh, you want to uh, duplicate fast 
number one, and two, backup. So on set, my plan is that when I'm making my movie on set, we'll have these stuff. I've been testing it, they've been reliable. I have no problems with that. Um, and they're cheap, you know, something like 45 bucks each. It can mount these, these larger hard drives. This larger hard drive, this can mount it and I can do transfer into it. This is this right now is 16 terabyte. Um, I've got 18 and um, 20. So the idea is that this SATA, for example, this one, if I take it off, I can also mount it here. This cast can fit in here as well as the other one and I can duplicate, have one, this is double. There are two mounts here, two, two inputs here. You can put um, the small sucker here, this one, after recording, I can put it right here and you grab the bigger, uh, the larger um, hard drive, put it here and duplicate immediately without a computer, just by, you know, holding on to the button, turning on power on, holding on to the um, duplicate button for three seconds and it start copying everything. But if you're transferring, you need a computer to actually tell it to transfer. But if you are duplicating, you don't need a computer attached. You push the button and it duplicates one to two. Okay, so that's why I, I am more into SSDs as my main media for the Black Magic Ultra 12K. That was a lot, I guess. I hope somebody needed that, otherwise. Power. Okay, let's talk about power. I have two so two um, approaches. Uh, I either go one powerful battery which is this, this is the largest battery. Um, I reviewed the battery um, about a year or so or two ago. Uh, Retric is the largest, um, is the largest uh, 300 watt you can find or I could find on the internet on Amazon. It's perfect for this lens because this lens is as heavy. So when I put it on, it really balances out, okay? Now this one battery is heavier than this. Now I'll explain what this is in a second. This I got, um, let me take it out, let me take it apart. I'll put this here. Uh, this is a splitter from Kame TV, okay? But it only allows you to power with smaller batteries like these ones. Now this is new from newer. <laughs> This is really portable. I think this is, it's got to be the smallest I've ever seen. It's um, only 49, 47 watt hours, um, but that's, that's cool. 69 bucks, by the way, is a good option. I've got two of them for the seven, okay, 95. So this is 95 and this is uh, 47. If you have two of these smaller batteries of any brand, you can mount them there. That way you could hot swap your stuff. This is another good battery from uh, ZG City. You can also map two of these. See, they are portable. We can go over to audio now, but let me stress out that um, that's how I mount the tentacle sink. If you look on this, you'll see that I put the the uh, sticker, or whatever, to hold on to the te tentacle sink. I have one of one of these. Uh, um, batteries as well because I usually use either this swap them or one to power everything. As all well, these guys, these sites are pretty much busy, and the port connection port is right here, so I just want to keep it uh, in the neighborhood. About audio, this microphone it's uh, it's an okay microphone. I have a Sennheiser, but I don't want to carry it on this rig. I usually have that on set as well and use that on the boom or you know to mic overhead on the subject but this one stays on the camera i wanted something cheap and affordable and it's okay it's good you can use it on youtube but it stays on camera you know if anything happens to it i'm not going to be crying uh, but you still want to protect your stuff anyway um how that is to say you know you might want to keep it simple when you are talking about uh, uh, what stays on the camera, especially if it's there for scratch audio. Um, I use this Relicat, Relicat microphone. I never heard of it before, so I uh, sent for review. 
and so I kept it because it's okay. Another good one is the newer, newer microphone. I also put it in the links. If you want to grab that, that's about that's probably cheaper than this and even maybe better than this. So I would recommend that. It's long, that's why I don't want it on the rig. Anyway, it's longer than this, but it's cleaner than this. Uh, so that's the audio, that's how I run my audio. I run it into, I uh, have this short cable. Uh, I'll see if I can find out the, the manufacturer. Then I plug in double XLRs um, into both XLRs. I just love to do it that way. And um, that's how my audio is taken care of. Let's talk about full focus. I actually used to rock with the um, Cam TV follow focus. I still have it and it's good. I'm happy with that. It works great. But um, the fact that this uh, small rig one, I just got the small rig one, uh, it's now my new setup. It gives me option of, you know, having more than one mount just in case, you know, we're on set and want to, you know, have the aperture or zoom control. I already got, uh, I got the basic unit and I got the next uh, order that just came in as well to have the complete unit so I can mount uh, both. So uh, the small rig one is rocking for me right now and I'll probably do a review on that later. Um, this guy needs no introduction. If you know Black Magic, you know this is what we rock, uh, top handle. I chose to go on with this. I'm not a, I'm not a, a shoulder rig guy because most of, the, I mean, most of the time I'm filming people um, that I'm taller than. So, so I got this tilted short rig, um, short one um, to just. Uh, I didn't want this guy to be right here on the body, so I got this uh, tilted, uh, very cheap. So, uh, what else again? The monitor. Let's talk about the monitor. The monitor is Black Magic. Um, of course, I went with Black Magic. I just thought there's no ProRes RAW in this camera. Just in case I need ProRes RAW, I can record ProRes RAW with this into SD card or SSD or um, SSD using this um, um, USB Type C port at the bottom. The simplicity of Blackmagic menu is just the same thing as the camera and I'm loving that and the price is still reasonable compared to small HD and all that. HDR 12G 4K resolution, man, it's awesome. Uh, talking about this, this is the moment, that is the moment SDI. It's got HDMI and SDI connections. I mean, if I'm pulling focus, this is perfect for me, you know, but if I'm not, they usually, whoever I'm working with usually have, they come with yes, you know, so I don't need to try to get a, a, a Vasis or Teradec for the tripod, I'll put the name of the tripod, it's not really important, you, you, I'm sure you have something good enough, but this is cheap and it holds the, the camera pretty solid, so uh, on the sticks is a quick release plate. Uh, actually, I went with this one from uh, Chem TV too. Yeah, from Chem TV. Yeah, I got some Chem TV products. Uh, maybe you guys should look in my direction and uh, do some sponsorship. Wanna grab this now? This camera is heavy. Uh, I still have the one from uh, Condor Blue, uh, which is a Dolby tail, and that's really good. That's this is the rod from there. Even though I'm still replacing the rods from uh, with the black ones uh, from small rigs, carbon fiber. Uh, just because this is too long and the colors look off. Um, but the base plate used to be you know, silver and I kind of like it. I will have to slide the whole thing out when taking it off. Right now, all you have to do is you know, pull this guy and it's off. It has a V-map kind of plate there, so you line it up. Yeah, lastly is the matte box. This is from Smory and in the in the lens is the Nisi um, 0.9 three stops. I need to use that because that helps with the IR cut. Now I have an IR cut filter on this lens, and then the um, sometimes if this goes up, I don't need it. I still have an IR cut filter on my lens. I'll, I'll show you on the screen. 
uh, if I can get the clip. Uh, it's always on this lens, I don't take it off. The uh, filter is from ICE, so I usually start with the end is from here before I actually start using this uh, because I know I get better results from this. This is additional. So if I must use an end from here, I usually go two stops and then I put all these guys to help the arrow cut pollution and everything has been working fine. I believe I covered everything we need to talk about. I'll put the links of everything in the description and uh, you can uh, you can ask your questions and let me know But I'm still working on the cable management. But the setup, I love it. And everything has been awesome. So I just thought I'd share this with you guys, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the good things you know we like. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.